All right, well, welcome everyone to our week two moving up call for all of you to promote your director this month, next month, before conference, all of you have the same goal. Um, so we went through week one. Um, and uh, so let's start off, as always, we're always going to start off with a couple minutes of good news, something that happened that excited you maybe you had your first show maybe you had your first recruit maybe you had your first thousand dollar show maybe you did something that you didn't think you were going to do um maybe you listened to a training and implemented something new and had great results so who wants to share some good news i will share go ahead cass so after our booking blitz on sunday i added um 11 shows Whoa. that i probably wouldn't have done had we not done the booking blitz and um just since we just did our last call i actually have two people who are considering joining our team all right so i am sure i'm not the only one that wants to know what did you say or do right guys that I you guys are gonna ask that or i you get those bookings <laughs> right to get the bookings? Yeah. So let's talk about bookings. How did you get 11 bookings? Because all these okay, people Okay. So um, probably like most of you, when I initially joined, I put the po post out on Facebook. Hey, I'm a new consultant. Anybody willing to have posts or have parties for me? And I had four people instantly. Yep. I'll have it for you. But I didn't really dig any deeper because I was like, woohoo, four parties. Um, okay. But this time <laughs> I sent out individual personalized messages of, hey, um, because I'm going to Michigan, um, at the end of this week, most of the people that I messaged were in Michigan. I said, hey, I'm going to be home for 10 days. Are you interested in having a party with me? It'd be a good, good time to see you and kind of be able to mingle and then see my great Pampered Chef products because I am beyond excited about it. And uh, I got actually quite a few bites from it, obviously. But I'll be honest with you, I sent out, I counted, and I sent out 32 messages. So That's uh, actually a good ratio, though. Yeah, I was pretty happy with it. So one out of 10 normally will say yes. But again, if you're a new consultant, you're just starting to ask people, your ratio is probably a lot better. So, right. so awesome. So we got um, some parties booked. So yes, if you're new or, you know, sometimes you just got to tell your friends and family, but yes, if you guys are going to visit family over Memorial Day weekend, all you need is a rock crock and a couple catalogs. All right. If I could do, I went, I spent the summer in Italy and Germany and I packed a bag with stuff. So guys, so can you guys to travel across country or United States or wherever and do a couple parties. All it takes is a rock crock and some chicken fajitas with some kind of knife and a cutting mat. They don't need anything else. <laughs> um, awesome. Yay. Congratulations. So um, who else has some good news? I think Roger, you wanted to go? Yes, um, I just wanted to say I implemented some of the new stuff, um, like Ryan talked about. Um, can you help me? I, I really need your help. And I got uh, one book in like that. And then I got uh, some other info about how to be social with somebody and just talk to them before you talk about Pamper Chef. And I got one show out of that. And So tell us I a little bit more about that. Well, Normally, I did what um, they, you guys have talked about, how you say, you know, put in there, I'm setting up a virtual party next week or Wednesday or whatever. And this time I just decided, well, I'll just talk about, you know, how you doing? How is your family? We haven't been on Facebook talk in a while. I was just wondering how you were doing and stuff. And, and then um, when they contacted me back, I just said, great to hear and I see that you're in Illinois and I'd, I'd really like to know a little bit more and then we just talk a little more about you know things and then after the third conversation then I'd start talking about Pamper Chef and start getting so that's how I'm getting a couple more bookings so good yeah and definitely because uh, you don't want to be like hey Roger nice to meet you would you like to book a Pamper Chef party right that's not what we want to do so right. way to go Awesome. Yeah. Build a relationship, find out who your customers are, chit chat with them. You know, was this your first purchase, whatever, but yeah, definitely get to know them too. Cause when you get to know them, right. If you know, they're like a mom or a single parent or, you know, whatever you can figure out how you can help them with your pamper chef. So awesome. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Roger. Who else? Thanks. Good news. Bring it on people.
Come on. I got my second recruit. Yay! <laughs> and let me just give a shout out to Adrian, who's flying from Korea to the United States right now, and she's on this call. So good job. Very proud of you, girlfriend. That's dedication right there. That's hashtag no excuses. That was 20 minutes, Claudia. It's been 20 minutes since she said she had one recruit. Good job, Adrian. <laughs> Who else? How about Brittany or Sherry, Stephanie, Tiffany, Carolyn? Any good news? I don't know if my news counts as good news, but I I didn't have much luck booking parties yet. Um, but I have two people who are interested in becoming consultants. Well, that's pretty good news, I would say. <laughs> they just haven't completely uh, sealed the deal yet, but they're, I, the, the seed has been planted at least, okay. and they're really interested. And I have, um, two people who asked me about doing fundraisers and I got caught at work using my egg cooker, my ceramic egg cooker. You making got caught accidentally. It, right? Yeah. You took your yeah. time, I'm sure. <laughs> I got caught at work using my egg cooker and people got intrigued. So they actually asked me for um, some catalogs so they could look through it and my, my web address so they could place an order. Good. And sometimes, you know, when they're like, oh, can I have that? They're like, well, you could buy it or you could host a party and get it free. All right. Mm, okay try to like because you know i always say i would rather have a party than a sale so yes it would be great if someone says hey i want to purchase the rock car it's fabulous right but it would like the like the line would stop there right so i'd rather would say hey i'll get you the rock cook for free but i want to meet all your friends right have a party and get it free and now like your branches keep growing um especially for something like the egg cook i mean they could just easily get that for free or you could even say, oh, I'll make your deal. You book my next bonus date, I'll give you that egg cooker for free. It's like 15 bucks, right? So awesome. Good job. Um, and then the other thing, if you have recruit leads that are like, you know, on the fence, sometimes you just got to ask them, like, what's holding you back from just trying it? Or um, set up three-way calls with your, you know, with Justine or her upline so they can kind of help give them more information as well. So way to go. That is definitely some good news. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm just going to walk around with the egg cooker and eat my eggs out of it. Like walk them all, <laughs> eat your eggs out of it <laughs> like a coffee cup. Um, all right. Anyone else? Uh, this is Sherry. I do, attended the Booking Blitz Sunday and I got a party from the Booking Blitz. And I have a consultant under me and she got a new consultant. So that's good. You can't see me, but I'm like raising my hands for you. Yes, guys, remember you all need five team members, but they don't all have to come from you, right? Your new consultant right. could sign one, sign someone um, right away. So way to go. All right, anyone else? No? Okay. So um, I hope all of you submitted the homework. I did not double and triple check because I didn't have time yet, but I will. Um, so what we wanted to talk to you guys about today is really all of you are here for the same reason, right? You all want to promote your director, whether it's this month, next month, in your first 90 days, before conference, but all of you are here to eventually have your own team, be a leader of that team, be part of a leadership team with Paper Chef, and just be rewarded with lots of extra perks. Um, and we've asked you guys this question on the homework as well, but I really kind of want to go a little deeper into it as to why you want to be the next director at Paper Chef, right? Um, and what I want you guys to like think about or dream about is like I want you to have that vision like so clear that you can picture yourself in it in like 30 days or in 60 days or 90 days. Like what would it what will what will it feel like if on, you know, June 1st, you are the next director at Pamper Chef or on July 1st, how is that going to feel like, right? What 
what is it going to do for you? What is it going to do for you and your family? What is it going to do for you and your team? That extra income, the recognition, if you're going to conference, like being on stage and like being a new director at conference it's like the coolest thing ever. Okay. <laughs> it's like one of the best promotions that you can have is being a new director at conference. You're treated like people cheering you on, giving you high fives. You get to, you know, you have special, um, director meetings and trainings and it's just like, wow, it's like, holy cow, I did it. Um, so I really want you guys to like, think about like, what is it going to feel like when it all happens, right? Who's going to be the most proud of you and why? It's really, the why is so important, whether it's the income, whether it's, um, I just want to be successful at something, whether it's, um, I want to be a leader of a team, um, whether it's, I want the spring products, give me free products, right? Yes, right? Um, or, you know, I want 250 pay per chef dollars so I can, you know, register for conference. Whatever that might be like is that, that why is what's going to make you do the things you don't want to do. Okay. Cause otherwise if you don't have that, it's like, Oh, well, you know, didn't book two shows today. I'll do it tomorrow, you know, um, or I don't feel like getting out of, out of bed today, but it's like, you know, four days before the end of the month, like that, why is going to make you do that final push and it's going to make you do the things that you didn't think you could do. And you're going to be like, Oh my God, I can't believe I did it. Um, so does anyone have, a strong why that they would like to share. And it could be different. I mean, it could, like I said, for some, it could be the money. For some, it could be the perks. For some, it could be, you know, just to be successful. So does anyone want to share? I will. Go ahead, Sherry. Um, I think it's a little bit of everything you said. I want to see if I can do it. If I can become a director, I like the challenge. And I like to have a team under me and to, to be able to help the team. And also the recognition to be able to travel, like you said. And I love the Pampered Chef products. So really, I love it. Okay. And it, you can always use extra money. All right. And I can hear the excitement in your voice. That's what I want you guys to really, until you, that switch goes off in your head, and I've seen some of the switches go off in certain people's heads, until you believe that you can do it, it's not going to happen. You have to believe that you can be the next director at Pamper Chef. You have to believe that you can promote in 30 days, 60 days, a year, whatever day you set, but set yourself a date. So don't just be in the group and be like, oh, well, if it happens, it happens. Not going to happen. All right. I'm not a sugar coder, <laughs> if you can tell, but it's not something that just happens. It really takes a lot of determination. So who else wants to share? My my reason for being director is a little different from a lot of people's because I am retired. I have the freedom already. My director means that I'll be a leader again because I was in the military. It means that I will show other people how to become financially free. It means that if my wife wants to retire, that she can. And it just means that you know, I, I can be so fortunate to help others and just be able to support them and their dreams to be, you know, like I am. Um, just just want to help them. More people get out of that debt and, you know, just, you know, if this is the way they want to go, I want to help them do that. So that's my reason. Thank you for sharing. And that's like one of the best things is to see your team members achieve something that they didn't think they could do. You know, like I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it, but that's like one of the, you know, yes, the money is great, but that's like one of the best things to see people cross that finish line and say, Oh my God, I did it. And you helped me. Like that is like the best reward that anyone can give you. Um, anyone else want to share? I'll jump on. Um, yeah. I'm doing it because, uh, my husband retires in 2019, and this will be a nice um, supplement to make up for the other half of this income for that. Yeah, and we can talk because that's exactly my goal too. <laughs> I 
has always been my goal. When my husband retires in three years, um, you know, I want him to do whatever he wants to do. Like, I don't want him to like have to feel like, well, I have to go get a job because I got to feed my family or I have to get this job, right? Obviously he's going to get a job because he's not just going to sit around the house. I'm going to, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> but you know, that's what I want. Like, I just want to have that him for him to have that freedom to just, you know, you want to go to school, you want to go here, whatever. I don't care because my business, I can do this anywhere, right? I can hop on Zooms with you guys from anywhere. I can do cooking shows anywhere. I can pick up and move this business anywhere um, and I'm not stuck to anything. So, and you guys might not have that yet, right? So I want you, if, you, if you're not sure why you're here, then do some digging, okay? Think about, you know, on average, a new director that promotes with about eight shows on their calendar makes about twelve to $1,800 in that month when they promote, right? So that's about the income. So what would that mean to you if that was deposited into your account on June 1st? What would you do with that money, right? Or um, if you've got 250 paper chef dollars, what would you do with that? If all the spring products showed up at your house, barbecue and all that stuff that just came out showed up at your house, right? What would you do with that? Would you, you know, maybe celebrate with your team and give something away or maybe have a big party and, you know, do some raffles or something and think about a team name, right? So it's fun for your team to come up with it, but start thinking about it. Like, wow, if I'm going to be a leader of a team, what's our name going to be? Should we have a fun name? Should it be my last name? You know, what is it going to be? Um, and really dream about it. Really think about it. If you're going to a conference, which I hope all of you are, what are you going to wear when you cross that stage? Roger's going to wear a rat's red Superman cape, right? Some of you ladies might wear um, a red scarf or you're going to get a tiara or whatever, you know, dress up, whatever. That's your time to shine. And a lot of us, even in a regular job, um, we don't get that recognition, right? I don't. I never got that. Or, you know, like my husband or my kids are all like, yeah, mom, did a great job cleaning the toilet. Fabulous, you know? No, it doesn't happen. So a lot of that recognition, that feeling special, like, oh my God, like I did it, right? So there's about 1,200 directors at the Pampered Chef out of 40,000 consultants, and you guys can be one of them. So really, really dream and dream big and share those dreams with your husband, your wife, your plus one, your best friend, whoever your support system is at home, because we can support you in this end, but you need that support system at home. Because if they're like, hey, you said you were going to have shows on Wednesdays, um, and you're here like binge watching Netflix, like, wait a minute, what's happening, right? So you got to have someone on board like that, right? If my husband sees me home for two weeks straight, he's going to be like, what's going on? So make sure you find yourself that support system. I really want you to think about it um, this week. And one of the, and some of you that were in the Moving Up program last month, you know, maybe something changed. Maybe the why wasn't strong enough, um, or maybe you're still working to figure out what it is. But we are going to post a video um, that you guys have to watch, and it's like an hour and a half, but it's a great video. It's a, it's a miracle morning video that really will teach you a lot about yourself, how to get over hurdles, um, how to manage your time, and how to start the day with focus. So that'll be one of your homework assignments. Um, but today I really wanted to come on and we would talk about the why, but also talk about host coaching. So all of you are, um, are working on you know, filling your calendar with at least six, but more eight shows. Um, and if you have six or eight, don't stop there. Hey, it's still young. And if you don't, you're still working on filling that, right? So if you didn't get to participate in the booking blitz, you can go back and watch some of the posts, um, find yourself someone else that maybe needs more shows and say, hey, let's hop on a Zoom. Let's do it. And just, you know, books and parties. But now that we have the shows, it's like, what's next? Okay, so I have eight shows. Great. I'm going to show up and they're going to be like $1,000 parties, right? Not going to happen unless we host coach. So host coaching is where you make your money and the party is where you just go pick it up, right? Because once you're there, there's only so much you can do. Same for virtual parties, right? You can only do so much for virtual parties. It's the host that, um, you know, makes or breaks the party. So um, 
You guys might have seen this one before, but the first and most important thing is to have some kind of tracker. So everyone, every business owner, um, you know, they track their business. So make sure you print this out. You can find it on Consultants Corner. I can post it and you can just kind of alter it for your virtual parties if you want as well, you know. But really, you know, you want to have this for every month and you want to have it so you can look at what needs to happen, but you also want to have it so when the parties are over, you can say, okay, so this party was a thousand and this one was 200. Let me look at what what was different and analyze it, okay? So we are all learning from every party we do. So if you have, you know, five parties and they're all $200, then we need to talk because then there's something that we can tweak, right? Sometimes you just have a bad house. Sometimes you have a great house. Um, but there's definitely lots of things that we can do. So what happens from the moment that someone says, Yes, I'll have a party. Sure, I'll have a party, right? So first of all, work smarter, not harder. This week we talked about making a schedule of when you're going to work. So use that time to make up host packets, virtual and cooking show packets. Just make them up for however many parties you want to do. So if eight shows is your goal, make eight host packets ready for May and don't stop until those host packets that are maybe sitting on top of your shelf or next to you on the desk, pile them up where you see them and don't stop until all those host packets go out the door. Right? Give yourself like a visual reminder, um, but also work smarter, not harder. Make them all up at once, right? That takes less time to just make up eight host packets than to stop setting it up, make a host packet, you know, and then you get distracted and then it's like, whoop, you, done. You forgot about it. So make up all your host packets for the month of May, June, and July as far out as we have the host specials. And um, just start filling this form out, right? So what you want to do is obviously set them up on your website and send them a confirmation email from the website right away. Does everyone know you can send them a confirmation email from the website? Yes? Okay. If you don't, um, where it says like show page, where you find the URL next to it, it says email host. So you can email your host before and after the party. The after one is great because it tells them exactly how much money they save. You can also email your guests. So once the party's over, you can send them an email right from there. You can click on guest list, send a thank you note, send a thank you for your order, send a thank you for attending. Boom takes two seconds it's just that extra special touch but anyway so someone books a party um you want to get all those back office things like setting them up on your website sending them a confirmation email getting the host packet to them if you didn't give it to them already at a party um setting them up a facebook event those are the basic things that need to be set up um and if you're virtual or if you're doing cooking shows you can even have a post my party all set up right? You don't have to give, make them a co-host or anything yet, but you can just kind of have that all set up. And if you do cooking shows, I recommend you create a, you don't have to spend hours on it, but you create some kind of small template for pre-cooking show as well. Um, I do mine seven days before, and it's just kind of highlights a product every day because I can't bring everything to a cooking show. Um, but it also, you know, at the end it says, the same day that the party is, a post goes up and says, thank you so much for coming to the party. If you couldn't come, here's um, the shopping link or the Google drawing slip. You, that can go into a cooking show as well, right? Um, but host coaching is really talking to your host um, and going through step-by-step step what they have to do. And as much as it is about the little details, it's also a lot about building a relationship with your host because a host that knows you, a host that likes you, they're not going to cancel on you, right? It's those hosts that really don't know what they send up for, really don't even know why they're having a party because they don't know. Nobody told them that the rewards they can get, um, but that is our job, right? So our hosts don't have parties every week right? Um, that the, maybe once every three months, once every six months, once a year is when they have parties. So that's like their one-time shot for us to help them to get as much free Pampered Chef as they can get. The happier the host, the more people are going to book from her, the more people she's going to refer to you, and the more likely she is to do it again 
or he or she to do it again um, or to join your team, right? So um, we will post a host coaching checklist. Um, I'll post my host coaching files as well. But just remember that you have to talk to your host. And you, you, you're going to know, if you're new, you're going to learn it the hard way. Because <laughs> there's going to be a party where you show up and there's like one person and you're like, oh, well, maybe I didn't really talk to that host too much. And I had no idea how many people were coming. So pump the host up. They don't know that, you know, a third of the people they invite can't come right away. They don't know that one to four people will cancel the day off. So, you know, call your host two, hour, uh, two hours, two days before the party, put in your calendar, 48 hours before the party, you call your host, your cooking show host, and say, hey, you know, how many confirmed RSVPs do you have? Not how many do you think are coming, that's different. How many confirmed RSVPs do you have? And they might say five or 10 or 12. Great, that's a great start always all right that's a great start but here's what's going to happen um one to four people are going to cancel the day off because the husband's coming home late the kids are sick uh there's an emergency so i want you to be prepared for that so you don't get frustrated when i walk in and you're going to tell me oh i just got four texts because i'm going to tell you that this happens and it doesn't just happen for a pamper chaff party it happens for anything, baby showers, weddings, right? Anything, any event you've ever hosted, you know that people will cancel um, the day out. So when we prepare a host for that, they're not as frustrated. And the last thing we want is for hosts, you know, to go through all the trouble of hosting a one week virtual party or, uh, you know, cleaning our house and putting out food for nobody to show up. They'll never ever host a party again, okay? Um, so make sure you tell your host that, get them excited, Find out why they hosted a party, right? So what made you decide to book a party? What are you most excited about? What are you looking forward to get? And get them um, working on, you know, building a wish list for sure. So um, have them create an account, send them, you know, remind them to send you a wish list because when they send a wish list, that's another reason to talk about the business right if someone sends me a wish list there's a rock rock on there there's a grill pan a manual food processor that's a good reason to reach out to and offer them the business um or i mean even if there's i don't know you can offer it to them all the time but obviously if they have a lot of stuff right that's another reason to say hey it looks like you really want a lot of stuff why don't you make this your launch party or why don't you take the kid credit Okay, um, so does everyone understand the two differences between how people can join your team? Like either they can join before the party and you can make it a launch party, or they can join after and they can take a kid credit. Are there any questions about that? I'm not sure how that works. Um, okay, and you can, that. so you can decide how you're going to do it or if you're going to do either or, um, but basically, you know, so I'm just going to tell you how I do it and then you can decide how you want to do it. But if a host joins before the party starts, whether it's virtual or cooking show, right? I always ask them, have you ever thought about doing something like Pamper Chef before, um, you know, before we set up your party or before a bunch of orders come in, I just wanted to ask you if you've ever thought about doing something like Paper Chef, because we can easily turn this into your launch party. And not only would you get all the hostess benefits, but you would also make the cash from this party right away. What do you think? Right? Those are like my go-to words all the time. So if they join before the party, before they have any orders in and they decide to join, you still have time to turn this party into their launch party, right? If it's a cooking show, they'll have the kit in three days. You can use all the kit, all the catalogs. You just show up to help them, right? But you're also going to realize that you're not going to make money because I mean, you make overrides, but you're going to give them the show, right? So you're losing that show. So depending on how hard you want to promote, um, that might be an option. But I give them the option because they would make more money if they joined beforehand. And I just want them to be you know, successful. But if you don't want to do that, which is fine, you know, if you say, um, hey, I'm going to go do the show, I'm going to get paid on this party, then you definitely want to tell your host as you coach her and t or him or her and tell him, hey, this is how much free you get. If you have, you know, a $1,000 party, this is how many half price items you get. This is the discount. This is the May host special. And part of hosting a Pamper Chef party, one of the benefits you have is that you can actually start your business 
for less money. You can actually earn a $25 or $50 kit credit. Have you ever thought about doing something like Pamper Chef? Same thing. I have a question. Yeah. Okay, so let's say that they host a party and they decide to become a, join our team. Do we still do the lunch party since they kind of just did a party? Or how does that work? Well, no. So if, if it's a cooking show and they decide to join after the cooking show, then we wouldn't do another cooking launch party. We would just give them the bookings to start out with unless the party was small and uh, the new consultant feels like there might be a whole, you know, a handful of people that maybe couldn't come, then she could have a second like launch party. Okay. And then always a virtual party. So we always want to do a local party in a virtual launch party, unless, you know, some new consultants or uh, there's plenty of consultants are virtual only, then we would just give her or him the bookings from the party and let them start the business that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so you decide how you want to offer it, um, but you would never do a party and never tell your hosts, hey, you earned three half price items, right? You would never skip that. So don't skip the kit credit. So make sure you put, um, let me get a host packet here. Make sure you put your coupon. Oh, this is old. Wrong one. Um, there we go. Um, so make sure you put your kit coupon in here. So you want to have the Life Taste Great brochure and the kit coupon. You can find that if you just search in Consultants Corner kit coupon. You can print this out through each your page. Um, and then here are just some fun facts about joining Pain for Chef that I can post as well. So you want to have that information on here because your hosts are your highest potential lead. They're already having a party. They're already cleaning their house. They're already inviting their friends. They love Pain for Chef. They want free stuff. Why not try it? Okay, but you really want to um, work on your house coaching and try out different things, you know, whether it's uh, postcard invitations, um, sending text message reminders, Facebook, Facebook Live, something, but don't just rely on Facebook. That's what I tell my house. Don't just rely on Facebook. Facebook is a great way for like the initial wording out there, but so many people get so many Facebook invites that unless you make a personal touch, um, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> okay. So let them know that because they don't know that they think, Oh, I invited 50 people to my virtual party or my cooking show. 50 people are going to show up, maybe 49, right? They don't understand that half the people don't even see what they actually have on there. Um, so we're going to ask you guys, we, uh, we have a zoom training with Karen Smith, who is a top seller. Um, I think she was number, don't quote me. She was definitely in the top 20 in sales um, for the whole entire company of Pamper Chef, but she's always number one on the Landy Chef. Um, she sells over $100,000 a year in Pamper Chef, and she does it by house coaching. She has it down to a pad because she does like 18 parties a month, right? So if you do 18 parties a month, you obviously have to have a good system down. So we're going to ask you guys in our homework um, to listen to that training, to... Um, Print out the house coaching tracker and track it month by month. So if you already have June shows, put them in there. These people need their packets, right? These people can already have their packets. So that way it's like confirmed, right? They know like, oh, well, this girl sent me a packet or this guy sent me a packet. Like it's serious. I can't cancel anymore, um, which it could still happen. But um, the more organized you are, the more on top you are of things, the more excited you get your house the less likely they are to cancel on you unless it's like, you know, I'm sick or it's like some kind of emergency because if they have people coming to a party, they're not going to cancel on you. Right. They're only going to cancel on you if they think nobody's going to show up. All right. So um, any other host coaching tips? Um, has anyone tried anything that worked to get more people, you know, to join a virtual party or join a cooking show? And any of you guys do anything? that you want to share that maybe I didn't mention? Well, I want to share when you host coach, um, just make sure that you're keep coaching them. Um, one example is I was doing a cooking show for my sister-in-law and she had one person coming. So she wanted to cancel cause she only had one and I kept coaching her. Well, you got to invite them other ways and 
um, Facebook, you have to text you and you have to email and you have to do all these other ways to get in the help of them. So then she decided to rehab it again. So she said, okay, I'll still have it. The next day she got, she got six people there and she got almost $800 out of that show. She's like, you know, and I was going to, and I said, that's why you don't want to quit. You got one. That doesn't mean that one's just going to come. You got other people right. that aren't going to say they're coming, but they'll come. And if you cancel, they're, they're going to come and you're going to have these people there. So just keep that in mind that you got to keep pushing, you know, your coach, they want to have a party and you got to, you just got to help them work it through there. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, like I said, you use every party as a learning experience. What went well, what didn't go well. Um, and that's why you want to make sure you have a weekly call with your director as well. So we can, um, you know, give you some pointers and just some additional tips along the way. Because again, the last thing we want is for you guys to do eight parties and, uh, you know, five cancel and two are like $200 in sales. And then you're like, oh, Paper chef doesn't work. I quit, right? So that's not what we want. So we want to help you. So um, the more you guys talk to us, the more we can help you and the more we can get a feel of, you know, what, what do you really need help with? And guys, a lot, I know a lot of you are new. Um, so or a lot of you maybe haven't had a lot of cooking shows or virtual parties. You just got to, the more parties you have, the quicker you're going to figure things out, the more confident you're going to get. People are attracted to confidence, okay? You could be burning the chicken. They don't care. As long as you're confident and you don't lose your marbles, they don't care. So, um, okay, anything else about host coaching? Any other tips? Anything you guys experienced? Remember, the host makes or breaks the party. So keep them close very tight and get them excited. If they're excited, they'll get their people there. Roger, did you want to add anything? Yes. I was going to say when you're doing your shows and something goes wrong, like you burn the chicken or you forget to add an item, you just, you know, I'm not a perfect chef. I'm a pampered chef. I am pampered and I got these items so that I can help and make these things. And right. The more right. you understand that and the more, the better your shows will go because you have to laugh at yourself and, you know, not worry about what happened about why the chicken burned. You figure that out after the show and go on from there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, remember we're not, you know, sous chefs or anything like that. We're just regular people teaching people how to make quick, easy dinners. Right. Uh, let me see what was in the chat. Uh don't know if this counts. I made a game out of it. Whoever invited the most people who checked into the party by introducing themselves on the post get a free gift. Is this for virtual parties, Tiffany, I'm assuming? That sounds interesting. Um, okay, so yeah, and you know, find ways to get them excited through virtual parties as well. So virtual parties, same thing. Just because they're virtual parties doesn't mean you can't call those people and talk to them. Um, actually, you should probably talk to them more because you've never... You don't know them maybe that well, right? Because they book and they book and they book and then you have people all over hosting virtual parties and they don't know you and you don't know them. So by giving them a quick friendly call here and there um, to help them get their party energized, the more you're, you're going to get to know. And the more fun it is for you guys. I mean, really, when you know your hosts and when you get to just chit chat with them via phone about who knows what um, and maybe find some connections or some common grounds, the more fun this is for you. This is a people business, right? A relationship business. So that's what um, we're not robots. Just post my party. We'll do the job. Not going to happen. Right. So, um, all right. So I'm going to post the um, conversation. Um, for this week. So it's going to be the YouTube video and it's going to be to share your why, why you want to be a director. So really dig deep. All right. I want you guys to dig deep um, and share what that extra income is going to do for you, these extra rewards. And then we're going to post a tracker as well and have you guys work on some host coaching for this week. So make sure you reach out to your director um, set up your weekly call with them or bi-weekly or daily or every hour, however you need to talk to them to make this happen. Um, and uh, yeah, any other final questions? I have a random question. Yeah, go ahead. 
I got um, accepted or whatever to be a vendor for a bridal show party okay. that's happening um, in one of the event centers near my house. I've never done a vendor show before, so I figured I'd take advantage that I'm on the call now to ask any advice of what I should bring. It's a bridal show, so I guess I should focus more on the registry part of Pampered Chef, but I just wondered if anybody else had any other ideas of what I should bring. Yep, I mean, you can definitely decorate your table a little wedding-ish, you know, white flowers or whatever, white bows. Um, but every mm -hmm. vendor event is really, um, it's not really to sell. I mean, you can take orders, um, but it's really to get outside of your circle, to get bookings from people that you don't know, so you can get to know their friends. Um, and to get like recruit leads, but really show. So you could have bonus that, you know, you could have them sign up for bridal registries right then and there. Um, you could give away a free bridal shower, right? And say, hey, you know, I'm drawing for a free bridal shower. If you win, um, I will bring some snacks and fun treats for you and your, you know, um, bridal shower party. And you will, you know, your friends can buy you everything you wanted from Paper Chef for your bridal shower. There's a couple of things on uh, our Pampered Chef website that you could bring. I printed off some of these different um, things about wedding showers and stuff. But like any vendor show, it's the same thing. It's just more um, um, wedding information stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just bring your kit and, you know, that's pretty much all you need to do. And you know, you're going to get people to talk to you and, it's a great way for them to start because um, they're starting their new life and they need new stuff for their kitchen because they're either they're living at home yet or they're starting their new house with someone or, you know, just a bunch of different things happen with different brides. So. And remember, if you're going to do a vendor event, make sure you block off some time the next day for an hour or two to really do follow-ups. Because if you're not going to do follow-ups for a vendor event, you might as well not go. All right, so by follow-up, so when I'm talking like regular vendor events, I'm sure you can twist that for bridal showers as well. But really, my goal is to get as many drawing slips as I can, as many contacts as I can in a bowl. Um, and I just tell them, hey, you know, enter my drawing, enter my drawing, and they enter. Um, if they're like, what is it for? And I'm like, oh, it's for a gift certificate, you know, enter, enter. Um, so what I then tell them, and I can post my script, but I call every single lead, um, and I try to make notes. If it's like mother and daughter that enter, I just kind of put a little note in the back, so I'm not calling both of them. Um, but I make little notes in the back. Really fun lady. Oh, my God, she left this and this. Or grumpy old lady don't ever talk to her again right like stuff like that I write little notes on the back. Okay. but then I call every single person and that's how I've built my business every time I moved and I just say hey you know hey Tiffany this is Claudia with Pamper Chef we just met at the blah 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 vendor event um are you you know do you remember me or whatever and she's like oh yeah yeah I'm like hey you actually won my drawing remember you signed up for that and she's like oh yeah great and I'm like well listen um are you familiar with Pamper Chef and most of them will say yes because if not they got familiar with it at the table and then I just say hey so this is what you want you want a gift certificate with Pamper Chef um for a free cooking show and free ingredients so what that means is normally when people host a Pamper Chef party or a cooking class, um, they actually have to buy all the groceries. But with this free gift certificate, I will bring all the groceries. You just got to get some friends together um, and I can teach you a quick, easy, healthy recipe. You know, I'm currently booking Wednesday and Fridays. If you tell me which day works better for you, I can pencil you in. And I can say it like this because I've said it a million times. In my <laughs> yeah, um, I was going to say you made that sound really easy. <laughs> yeah, but I've said it a million times, right? So not everyone will say yes. Some people will be like, oh, that's what I want. Oh, I don't want to do that. Pass it on to someone else. Fine. Next, right? Um, and some people will say, hey, let me check my calendar. You know, can you call me back? So you call them back. And some people will be like, yeah, you know what I could do? How about blah, 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 blah. You pencil them in. And boom, even if you get one show, I don't care if you get one show from a vendor event, I can track so many free shows to so many recruit leads, even directors that I have now, um, sales that I would have never had if I didn't call. But you can text them and tell them they want a free show. You can't email them and tell them they want a free show. You have to call them. I've done it all. 
I used to email them, didn't get a reply. Then I texted them, didn't get a reply until Donna said, you have to call them. And I was like, crap, I really don't want to. But I did. Um, and you just kind of have that, just read the script, just excited. The worst thing that can happen is they'll say, no, I'm not interested. You know, but like I said, you just need that one to one or two people to book a party. So don't book a vendor in unless you're going to follow up because a sale is not going to get you far, right? Yeah, you can sell a rock or you can say $300, but like then your business kind of stops there, right? We really want to have show so we can grow and get outside of that circle. Okay. So just a little tip, three tip actually. All right, guys. So we're going to log off. Um, we'll see you all next Wednesday for call number three. And Donna Landy will be back. She's saying hi from beautiful Mexico. She posted a cute little video for us with home office. Um, and uh, in the meantime, go complete your homework for the week. Just kind of check it out tonight or tomorrow or in you know, the next couple of days so you kind of know what to do because it's not going to be something that you can submit uh, 45 minutes before the next call. <laughs> All right, well, make it a great night, and I'll talk to you guys soon.